Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to kind of do a rough breakdown of how I track parts, especially for other people's material. Uh, I'll be playing guitar. Obviously, I already have it plugged up into my audio interface, which is a Roland Octo Capture. And as a playback option, I'm running it through Amplitude. Um, I just start recently using Amplitude. Uh, I used to pretty much always reamp my guitar tracks from DI out to my tube amplifiers. But it wasn't until recently, like three, four days ago, that I started messing around with Amplitude. So I might be using this a bit more often. But the song that I have is a song written by a friend that I have in one of my music Discord servers. I'll just give you a rough listen right now. Dark behind the door Well, I'm sorry to say it love But it seems those days are gone I do have a chord chart lead sheet that Lucy was nice enough to send me of the song. Uh, I will put it somewhere within the videos. This is a brief template just to give everyone an idea of what I'm working with but as for tracking parts I'll kind of show you me working through a few different guitar parts and working out some parts over the song uh, I know I spoke with Lucy about what she wanted for this song and she just want more of ambient fills voice and piano so in a moment here we go Dark behind the door well, I'm sorry to say it loud But it seems those days are gone And I've got new scenery Out my window When it comes and the good sections so for the I'll highlight right here uh, play here there I make an error hitting the wrong chord and I follow So pretty much what I'll do is I'll come in, I'll splice right here and here, and just make it all one seamless take. I know I made it a little error right towards the end section here that I'll redo. It's pretty much the way I do is pretty much the modern take of punch again parts where I'll Make sure I have the best possible take that I can do. Then I'll just go from there. There's no more harm I can do. Onwards and upwards. Um, you don't I do what I did. That last section of punching in. I'll pretty much go right before and after like that. Hold down, I'll have pretty much my entire B section here, and then I'll usually just get it all glued together just so it's one seamless take. And then I'll go on to the A section and listen to there. <laughs>
connecting the A section and the second B section. This is what I came up with guitar part wise. The story that you got. I went skimming through the pages, but I think I missed a lot. very simple to where I'll really focus on the performance punch in as needed especially a simple song like this is fills I'll gladly just punch in different fills and work section by section uh, when I'm tracking full songs I'll pretty much really practice and nail the part and get down perfectly and then I'll just play record the entire track and I just slightly tweak that one little note or two that is slightly out of time but yeah, I really hope they enjoyed my insight on this. Take my hand and dance with me To a broken melody You have one chance, take it from me As the drums play out of time No need to run